So right now I'm linked into my Pi via the network and I went into the RetroPi into the ROMs folder and here you can see all the different folders. Some people were asking like how do I add ROMs to the Pi? All you have to do is connect to it on your network via Wi-Fi and you can drag and drop the ROMs directly into the correct folders. One of the other questions I got was how many gigabytes of the 128 gigabyte image are used for ROMs? So right now I right clicked all the folders at the same time and clicked properties and as you can see it's collecting all the data for how many gigs of ROMs. And let's just say there's 80 gigs of ROMs. I've got a long way to go. <laughs> so I'm doing this for you guys. I'm going to see how long this goes for. I'm going to put it in my background. I have the Pi on. The Pi has to stay on for all this time and uh, we'll see um, what we get to. Stay tuned. So this is in a track mode. You can see here it says 20G out of 117G, 16%. So that probably means 16% left and you have about 20 gigs worth of data left. So it's actually pretty good. If you're doing PlayStation or something like that, you can use that space up pretty quick, but that should give you a couple Dreamcast games or PlayStation games or uh, MAME games should be no problem at all. We're doing it. We're at 59 gigabytes and it's been about close to 20 or 30 minutes now. So there you have it, about 45 minutes later, we found out that there is over 270 folders at 95.2 gigabytes used. Um, the size on the entire disk is 139. The reason for the discrepancy is there's there's a way to do different clusters in the way you program the, the disk. So they did that, how they did raise 128 gigabyte image. But there's your answer, about 95.2 gigabytes is used for ROMs. And you might be wondering, well, how much of the Ray's image is dedicated to movie and those snap wheel previews? Super Nintendo, SNES. So 794 games here. Okay, we just highlighted, we have 794. And uh, if we go on the snap, let's go ahead and go properties. Okay, 1.37. So for SNES, there's about 1.37 gigabytes used for the snap wheel movies and there was almost it was just about 800 games let's try one more sega genesis 787 so it should be very close to snes while that's loading i did do the whole bios folder with all the emulators that's a total of 16 meg megabytes so all the data is in the raw is in the uh snap wheel and the roms Let's do the games as well to see like a comparison for like Sega, like how much the games, so it's about the same. So 1.15 for Sega, for Sega snap wheel previews. And then over here we have the actual ROMs, the games themselves. Now SNES isn't as high of data used as per, per se PlayStation, but there you go. It's only about 543 megabytes in the actual games with 1.15 gigabytes in the track wheel movie previews. So this can add up really quickly. A lot of this image is those previews. But you'll see some videos I'm making now that it's really cool, especially if you haven't played a lot of these games, to be able to preview them before you load them and you go through the start screen and you start playing them. It's really cool to get an overall view before you go and play those games. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you could, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.